My name is Eagle Willier, and I'm originally from Sucker Creek First Nation, and I'm currently working for TSAG, which is short for First Nation Technical Services Advisory Group. I'm the Youth Outreach Coordinator there, and I've been doing this for the last three years, going out to schools on First Nations throughout Alberta, and teaching about fire prevention. It's so important because, as many other stats on First Nations, the deaths caused by fires are really high so we really want to lower those numbers okay or just trying to get some education out and hopefully you can make sure that your smoke detector is working and you should be testing it once a month did you know that most fires in the home happen at night when you're sleeping and when we're sleeping our senses are dulled so our sense of smell and our sense of hearing are dulled. So that's why it's so important to make sure that we have a working smoke detector. Some of you might say, oh, I have the best hearing. I have the best sight. I have the best sense of smell. That's not going to help you here. But I'll tell you what will. A working smoke detector. And making sure that you maintain it, you test it, and you make sure it's in the right place. We're going to go through my home and look and see if I'm doing it right. Let's go. Now we're gonna go from my room into the hallway. And so as I walk down here, I can already notice a smoke detector above me. So we're gonna take a look at that. And then I'm gonna keep on walking. And this is a really good thing to do when you're just going around and doing your home escape plan too. So I'm gonna come into the bathroom. And there is nothing in here. But if you do have one in your bathroom, sometimes you might have false alarms depending on your system. So what you can find is that sometimes it'll just go off because there's so much steam and that can set it off. So if you find that's happening a lot, please just move it over, especially if it's a battery powered one. So now we're gonna go into the spare room and see if there is one in here. And just as I thought, there is one. So I'm gonna show you real quick. And now we have one in here. So that's extra protection. If you have one in your room, that's amazing. Good for you. You are extra protected. But another thing you should also do when you're going to bed at night, even though if you do have a smoke detector here, is make sure you close your door, okay? It can help protect you from fire and smoke for a little bit. Now, I go to a lot of schools throughout Alberta, and sometimes I get the question, well, what if I don't have a door? And instead, I have a blanket. That's totally fine, okay? But the thing is, this isn't gonna protect you as well as a door will. So please make sure if this is what you have as a door covering, then you get one of the smoke detectors in your room. If not, then please make sure that you have one just outside the room so that whoever's in this room, whoever's sleeping here, can be alarmed and notified that something's going wrong in the house, okay? Now let's go upstairs. Now we're here in the loft, and once again, what are we gonna look for? A smoke detector. So there is one just above my head. And so that makes it the third one we've seen today. So now we're gonna go down to the kitchen and look at the last one in the home. Welcome to my gorgeous kitchen. We're at our final smoke detector. And what we would have noticed going through the whole place that each smoke detector of mine is high up on the ceiling. But that doesn't necessarily always have to be the case. It could be just high up on the wall. Because if you've ever been around a campfire, you would have noticed that the smoke rises up. And that's why it's so important to have our smoke detectors either high up on the wall or high up on the ceiling because that's where they're going to detect that smoke. So now we're going to go on and test them. So the one that I have in my kitchen here is hardwired in, but you would test it just the same as a battery powered one. There's going to be a hush button or a test button that I can press. Um, mine is really high and I'm really short, so it's going to be really difficult for me. Let me just show you here. So it's nice high up on the ceiling and it's going to be harder for me to get up there. So um, I can try and pull I want, but this isn't gonna work. And I really do suggest that you do not um, try and put things on top of things. So 
I would not do a chair, a home and a chair, just to so get up on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, step for my dogs uh, to get up here. So when I'm going up, it's as safe as I can possibly be. I'm going to stay on this edge here so that I don't put my weight on the other edge of the island and then I can press the button. If this isn't an option for you, then um, what you can use is one of these. Um, so you can use a broom, mop, whatever, as long as you use the top here and then you can press the button right there. Um, that will help you a lot. Especially if you're too short and you can't reach it yourself, um, try and do it the most safest way possible. Another thing is, you need to also maintain it. So say in the summers you opened up your windows, some dust came in, um, that can also get into your smoke detectors too. So it's really important that sometimes you even vacuum them just to make sure it's clean because if there's too much dust accumulated in there, it might not actually work. And that could be detrimental to your family's safety. Um, another thing too is when you do decide to test, there's a few steps that you want to look at. So when you do decide to test, unless you're really testing your family, please make sure that you let everyone in the house know so everyone's not freaking out and thinking it's an actual fire. So test it, press the button. Um, sometimes they're all interconnected within each other um, in the whole house and then all of them will start to go off. Sometimes they're not. Just check and see what type of system you have. If you haven't tested it through cooking already, um, it's really important to make sure you know what yours sounds like. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Um, if you would like to subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Did you know that spires come in at night? No, they don't. Some kids that I teach, they say, well, I'm gonna smell it or I can hear it. No, no, hard no. You're not gonna be able to sense those things. So it's really important to make sure that you have enough smoke detectors in your home, make sure that you're testing them, make sure they're working and make sure that, you know, if, Some other thing, you know? Just really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Your senses are dulled. You can't smell. You can barely hear. Well, some people are really senseless sleepers. But when you're not. Peace.